Shalom. Hey, we got these um, identity crisis, uh, so-called white people who determine their racial blood type by their mothers that are so-called black women that had sex with um, a so-called white man. And the children of so-called white men um, with um, so-called black women are, are, are um, portraying themselves as being, um, you know, Hebrews or uh, so-called black. If anyone has a so-called white father, the child with a so-called black woman is not mixed. You are, meaning you, the child, are who your father is. So be, be on the lookout for this identity crisis series that I'm going to put together on my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Uh, there's some future content coming regarding this identity crisis that so-called whites have plagued the world with and they have created this identity crisis amongst themselves. So a so-called white man can be born in um, the land of Ham, which is so-called Africa, South Africa, and they'll say they're African. A so-called white man will be born in the um, so-called land of Australia, and they'll call themselves Aussie or Australian. A so-called white man will um, call himself Russian if he was born in Russia. A so-called white man bases his um, genetic race um, on geographics, not a bloodline that traces back to another so-called white man. So these so-called Irish men um, are born in, in the land of so-called Ireland and they're claiming to be Irish, okay? So my point being is nationality is based on who your father's bloodline is. When it comes to animals, um, a blue nose pit and a red nose pit are different bloodlines. A parrot and a pigeon come from different bloodlines, okay? Are they both birds? Yes. But my point being with this series that I'm gonna come up with is that so-called blacks have adopted this identity crisis that so-called whites have created, all right? And I'm going to try to not make it long because I want to get to the point about this identity crisis and how these so-called black men in this video that I'm about to play, they know that this guy going around is not so-called black. And their spirit knows that he's not so-called black. So they're getting offended. This so-called white boy or man, whatever age he is, he believes that he's pranking, and which he is pranking. You're, uh, he's pranking and um, pretending to be so-called black when he's basing his identity on his so-called black mother, right? These uh, bed winches, all right, that have children by so-called white men. So I'm going to let this video play and I'm going to end this video real quick. Um, but um, again, children are, children get their nationality based on who their father is, which is their bloodline. Nationality is not a geographical um, identity, okay? It's based on bloodline, okay? A pit bull in Australia is still a pit bull. A pit bull in France is still a pit bull. You get me? So let me let this video play and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Uh, I want to thank all 104 of my subscribers. I hope you're in high health, high spirits. I hope you're safe and protected against these agendas that are waged against us in America. Meaning us, your children, your family, and you. Okay. What's up, my nigga? Now, the so-called black man, he knows that he's not black. 
What's up, my nigga? Huh? Yes, my nigga. Yes, sir. You my nigga. What's up, my nigga? He's my nigga. Hey, you think that shit cool, right? Y'all niggas just bugged out. What the fuck wrong with that nigga? What's up, my nigga? Yo, bro, chill, bro. Like, now, see, this is not a... The, 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 the confusion and the mystery of this prank is he's not a so-called black man. He's, he thinks he's a black man, but he's pretending to be a black man. He, he says, oh, I'm black, but his mother's, his mother's so-called black. And this whole black identity, I'm going to go ahead and crush that and destroy that in this series that's coming as well. All right. Nobody's black. Nobody's white. OK, we're going to get into this identity of race, this, 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 this race um, confusion that the so-called white people have uh, plagued the planet with. OK, so this guy has an opportunity, sees an opportunity as a so-called white man to that's that he, he done deceived himself into telling himself that he's a so-called black man. All right. We're going to crush this identity crisis thing. All right. My, you my nigga. Bro, you know the meaning behind that word, my guy? Like, my nigga, sorry. See, and he and he and 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 the so-called black men that are offended in these videos, like I like I said, they understand that he's not a so-called black man. And he titles his videos, they can't see that I'm black. You get it? And he and he and he, and then he starts laughing. But in one of his videos, he shows a picture of his mother, and she's a so-called black woman. And that's why they think that that's why he thinks that he's so-called black and that's not where nationality is determined it's not determined by your mother it's determined by who your father is okay there's no such thing as mixed okay a black woman having a child of a so-called white man she, the child will have her features may even have a eggshell white or offset white complexion okay but don't don't miss don't don't misinterpret how children turn out by different races of women. OK, Lauren London, she's a white girl. OK, she's not black. Her mother's black. Her father is Jewish, which is a so-called white man. OK, we got to get this down pat. All right. Bro, chill. Like, stop walking around and shit doing that, bro. For real, for real. Fuck around, nigga. Fuck around. And, he, and he's damn near about to get into um, situations that are physical. Um, and violent because you know uh full blooded so called he uh blacks that are hebrews they can they can they can they can their spirit bears witness to these uh to who's who okay he's he's basing it off of the exterior and his mother when not nah, the for the men have the children in their in their scrotum women don't have children women have eggs the life the lifeline comes from the men okay the little, the little sperma, okay, they're swimming, okay, coming out of his rod, all right, down the stream of a woman's vagina, okay. Let's not let's not misinterpret this, all right. The science is there. The science has always been there, okay. That's why people who have pets or individuals who have pets, they get their animals neutered because they don't want no children to pop up, okay. You out here, bro. You my nigga. Shit real out here, bro. Huh? And, and, and they do it for hormone purposes. So let me let this play because the so-called black man, they can, they can, they can, I, they, they know in their spirit that this guy is pretending and pranking uh, and, and pretending to be so-called black. No, bro, bro, yo, bro, bro, it's a prank, it's a prank, it's a prank, man. That's my ass, bro. Get up the block with that shit, my nigga. Like, for real, bro, nigga, don't do that over here. Bro. Okay, my, my nigga. What's up, my nigga? What's I hope this dude really gets injured one day for pretending to be black. Because that's the prank. He's pretending. And because black, so-called black people in America that are, that are converts and unbelievers, they may or may not. Uh, embrace every race and think that it's just one human family and all of this stuff is not true okay so you are who your father is okay let me get in let me let me let me let me uh let me get that right quick okay you are who your father is okay
this is Numbers 1 and 18. All right. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their, after their families by the house of their fathers according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. So let's look up this word pedigree. Pedigree. Okay. Pedigree. Pedigree. Genealogical table or chart. Okay. A variant. Okay. A foot of a... No, not foot of a crane. We're going to keep that. All right. Let's see. Uh... Descent was indicated by a forked sign resembling the branching lines of a G genealogical chart. The sign also happened to look like a bird's foot. Okay, so this is just some early on, okay, meaning ancestral line, ancestral line, okay, of animals. All right, pedigree. All right, I'm gonna do it, like I said, I'm gonna do some more on this because the so called white man has changed his identity uh, several times. Okay, um, he went from being a, a Edomite to now he's a so-called white man. And I'm going to get into where this so-called white identity comes from. Okay, so again, if you haven't, matter of fact, let me, let me, let me, let me do this real quick while we already on this thing. Okay, while we already on this thing. Okay, while we already on this thing. Because I didn't even, I didn't even want to put out no footage today. Um, I'm about to go grab something to eat. But um, let me do this right quick. Um, uh, let me go to Google. Okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, let's see the terms white and black Bacon's Rebellion. Okay. All right. Let me go here. Bacon's Rebellion. Okay. Inventing black and white. Let me cut. Let me cut my vehicle off real quick and get into this because I gotta. I gotta go grab something to eat after this. It says, "Learn how Baker's Rebellion became a turning point for the way the laws of colonial Virginia dis distinguished people of different races." All right. Now, race: the power of an illusion. The second e episode in the three-part series series, race: the power of an illusion. Questions and beliefs that race has always been with us. All right. In Virginia in the 1600s, Anthony Johnson secured his freedom from indentured servitude, acquired land, and became a respected member of his community. Elizabeth Key successfully appealed to the colony's legal system to set her free after she had been wrongfully enslaved by the 1700s. The laws and customs of Virginia had begun to distinguish black people from white people, making it impossible for most Virginians of African descent to do what Johnson and Key had done. Now, there's a picture right here of Bacon in the front. Bacon is the nephew of Berkeley, the governor at the time, being an uncle, and they were feuding over political reasons. Okay, now, Bacon's Rebellion. The 1905 painting by Howard Powell depicts the burning of Jamestown, Virginia in 1676 by black and white rebels led by Nathaniel Bacon. Now, this is the problem with the history, the history between so-called blacks and so-called whites some of the first jobs of so-called blacks working for so-called whites were to help the so-called whites colonize or to help the so-called whites in their feud amongst each other. It says, why did Virginia lawmakers make these changes? Many historians point to an event known as Bacon's Rebellion. Let me put my phone in airplane mode real quick. All right, now, why did Virginia law lawmakers make these changes? Many historians point to an event known as Bacon's Rebellion in 1676 as a turning point. Nathaniel Bacon was a wealthy uh, white property owner and relative of Virginia's governor, William Berkeley. Okay, the uncle and a nephew. But Bacon and Berkeley did not like each other and they disagreed over issues pertaining to how the colony should be governed, including the colony's policy toward Native Americans. Now, keep this in mind. The so-called white man, both governor and nephew, Bacon, they did not like Native Americans owning their own land, okay? Now, Bacon wanted the colony to retaliate for raids by Native Americans on frontier settlements. Bacon, again, let's read that again, wanted the colony, the British colony, to retaliate for raids 
by Native Americans on frontier settlements and to remove all Native Americans from the colony so landowners like himself, so-called white men, colonials, could expand their property. Now, so-called Native Indians helped so-called whites colonize other Native Indians' lands, okay? That's like the Buffalo soldiers were doing the same thing, working for the so-called white man and their orders and duties were to remove Native Indians from their lands and help the so-called whites press west and colonize westward in America, okay? Now, and they take pride in that because they thought they were actually making history, like positive righteous history, all right? Now, Bacon wanted the colony to retaliate for raids by Native Americans on frontier settlements and to remove all Native Americans from the colony so landowners like himself could expand their property. Berkeley, the uncle, feared that doing so would unite all the nearby tribes in a costly and destructive war against the colony, the British colony. So the, so the governor didn't want to do it because he figured the Native Indians would unite and then they would wipe out the so-called whites. All right. Now. In defiance, all right, in defiance, this is the nephew the, of the governor, Bacon, the nephew, organized his own militia. Now, his militia is what's key here. Watch the militia consisting of white and black indentured servants and enslaved black people. So when whites, so, so when whites, so when whites, so, so when whites say that they were slaves at one point in America, they weren't, they were indentured servants. They came over to the, uh, the, the Americas and they worked uh, and got paid to work. Now, this is 1676 where some, where certain blacks, uh, earned their freedom while others still, uh, remained in slavery. All right. To the so-called whites. All right. It says, and enslaved black people who joined in exchange for freedom. So you help the so-called white man um, colonize and destroy your people, um, as well as your the other tribes, the uh, so-called Native Indians, the tribe of Gad, all right? And then you earn your freedom. Today in 2024, this is the, the earned freedom that so-called blacks felt that they were going for, okay? Not running away, like Harriet Tubman, not trying to wipe out the so-called whites like Nat Turner. They, this is the freedom today, having jobs and paying bills and not owning everything that you say that you are trying to own. You still got to pay taxes, okay? Now, it says, who, who joined, okay, um, enslaved blacks who joined in exchange for freedom and attacked nearby tribes. So, we turn our, we turn, and I mean us so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, the Hebrew Israelites, we will turn on our own people in exchange for some benefit or some promise from the so-called white man. And we have a history of joining hand in hand with the, with the, with the oppressor in exchange for a promise, which is like um, not freedom. Okay, now, it says... A power struggle ensued with Bacon and his militia on one side and Berkeley, the Virginian House of Burgesses, the elite, of course, and the rest of the colonies, British colonies elite on the other. Months of conflict followed, including armed skirmishes between militias. In September 1676, Bacon's militia captured Jamestown, Virginia and burned it to the ground. Okay, now. Although Bacon died of fever a month later, the nephew and the rebellion fell apart, Virginians' wealthy planters were shaken by the fact that a rebel militia that united so-called whites and so-called black servants and slaves had destroyed the colonial capital. Legal scholar Michelle Alexander writes, the event in Jamestown were alarming to the planter elite who were deeply fearful of the multiracial alliance. Today we see Black Lives Matter, which is not a so-called black movement. It is, um, it is a, um, a registered business by, uh, by a so-called white, okay? No, not just anybody can say, can throw a party or parade for Black Lives Matter or they'll be sued because the Black Lives Matter logo is copyrighted and it belongs to a so it's registered to a so-called white man. That is not a so-called black 
Hebrew or a so-called black movement, nor is it a Hebrew Israelite movement. Okay, that is a, a so-called um, white man's movement. And they know that they can profit off of movements that black people constantly participate in. All right, it's all a money grab. Okay, now it says indentured servants and slaves Word of Bacon's rebellion spread far and wide, and several more uprisings of a similar type followed. In an effort to protect their superior status, which is a social economic status change. Okay, this is how this is the, this is the first part of the identity crisis with so-called whites that are the Edomites of the Bible. Okay, just go read your Obadiah. Go go to go. Go open up your Bibles and read the chapter Obadiah, the book of Obadiah. Okay, it's going to tell you about the Edomites. In an effort to protect their superior status and economic position, the planters shifted their strategy for maintaining dominance. They abandoned their heavy reliance on indentured servants in favor of the importation of more black slaves. After Bacon's rebellion, Virginian's lawmaker began to make legal distinctions between white and black. And it's in quotation marks. OK, this is not a racial identity. OK, these are labels. OK. We can go all the way back in history. So-called blacks were called darkies. They were called, um, you know, we know the uh, nigger. All types of labels given by and derogatories and bywords given to our people by so-called whites. OK, now it used to be what country you was from. Oh, I'm French. Oh, I'm Irish. OK, this is the so-called white man identity. OK, this is how he hides amongst these identities because he likes to create different identities. OK, calling himself so-called black because his mother is so-called black but his sperm he's the sperm of a so-called white man which that's who you are okay that's how it goes now distinctions between white and black inhabitants by permanently enslaving virginians of african descent and giving poor white indentured servants and farmers some new rights new rights what new rights what rights do so-called whites have well so-called black people calls it white privilege but it's not white privilege it's white rights they have rights that are strictly for white people so-called white people okay they have a different set of rights and and and, and, and it's and it's and it's it's based on their status they hoped to separate the two groups and make it less likely that they would unite again in rebellion Historian Era Berlin explains, soon after Bacon's rebellion, they increasingly distinguished between people of African descent and people of European descent. See, pedigree, pedigree. They enacted laws which say that people of African descent are hereditary slaves, and they increasingly get, give some power to independent white farmers and landowners. Okay, this is how it goes. Now, what, what is the interest about this is what now what is interesting about this is that we normally say that slavery and freedom are opposite things but they are diametrically opposed but what we see here in virginia in the late 17th century around bacon's rebellion is that freedom and slavery are created at the same moment okay if you want to finish reading this i'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can finish reading this okay because this is where the beginning of so-called white and black terms were created. It's not race. White and black is not a race. Nobody's white, nobody's black. I've never seen a black person and I've never seen a white person. I've seen people with different bloodlines. Okay, that's where we're looking at each other and it's hard to tell what some people are because they've, um, they've, uh, and this is, you know, this is the speckled bird too many people came together of opposite races and now these children look strange so you can't put your finger on what 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 the, what a person's race is it's just like looking at crossbreeding of fruit 
or crossbreeding of animals. You may not be able to tell what this is. It might look like a strange creature, depending on what creatures or what animals have sex with each other, okay? So you are who your father is, okay? They put a lion and a tiger together, they have a child, they're calling it a toyger, okay? They're trying to uh, have the, the prefix mixed with the suffix and they're trying to make something make something else make a create an, another species or create another race so the so-called whites have created another race of people and they call them mixed okay or they say two or more races okay there's only 18 races of people on the planet okay based on genetics based on bloodline okay so here we have mixed and two or more uh, two or more races together these are your 19th and your 20th uh races of people that exist on the planet that were created by white uh so-called white people okay it, it's we you know i'm gonna I'm get down to the bottom of this because i'm sick and tired of this identity crisis being so um now you know being so popular now we have so-called white men that are going around pretending to be black and pulling pranks on so-called black men which are Hebrew Israelites, and the Hebrew Israelites, their spirit can bear witness with this guy that's claiming to be so-called black, okay? So let's get, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description again, because again, um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna cut the games and stuff. We're gonna cut this out, okay? This, this, this idiot right here, um, this idiot right here is, um, let me take my, take my phone off airplane mode. This idiot right here is perpetuating, um, you know, the 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 uh, the confusion. Okay, he's perpetuating the confusion. All right, so I'll leave I'll leave a link in the description. All right, Shalom. And again, I want to thank all 104 of my subscribers. All right, if you um, have not already subscribed to the channel, this is a this is, my channel is based on information and edification. Okay. I know everybody on my channel may not be a Hebrew Israelite and they may not be trying to keep this, the law, statutes and commandments of the Bible to the best of their ability. But you may learn a thing or two over here. All right. And I hope, like I said, I hope you're safe. I hope you're in high spirits. I hope your family's safe. I hope you're keeping uh, uh, taking the uh, proper precautions to uh, protect you and yours against the agendas that are waged against us. In the in in the in this um, in, um, behind enemy lines in so-called America, which is spiritual Babylon, Shalom.